Okay, let's record the history of the cell. Earth is some 4.6 billion years old. It took some 1 billion years for heavy bombardment following the formation of the solar system to stop. It took another 400 million years for liquid water to form oceans. Earth's atmosphere and oceans were then full of carbon dioxide, which prevented life from starting. Some 2.5 billion years ago, the early form of life called cyanobacteria absorbed carbon dioxide and produced oxygen. Bacteria constitute the simplest unicellular life form. These lack cellular membrane and nucleus and are called prokaryotes. They still contain genetic material in the cytoplasm which allows them to reproduce. They were the dominant life form for the first part of the history of Earth. Multicellular life form is composed of eukaryotes. These include plant and animal life like mammals. The cell of eukaryotes contains a nucleus encapsulating the chromosomes. It also contains the mitochondrion which is the powerhouse of the cell. It's believed that both of these organelles, nucleus and mitochondrion, were bacteria that got trapped in the cytoplasm and became part of the cell. These contain separate forms of DNA. Mitochondrion DNA contains 37 genes, while nuclear DNA contains some 23,000 genes in a 23 pairs of chromosomes in the human genome. Mitochondrial DNA is transmitted only through the mother, while nuclear DNA is transmitted through both the mother and the father. DNA is the blueprint of life. It codes for the synthesis of proteins, which perform most cell functions essential for life. It's believed that this encapsulation of bacteria into gene-containing organelles happened only once in the ocean. The machinery of gene coding in the DNA and RNA, along with reproduction, helped produce diversity that ensured. The chloroplast in plant cells is the center of power production, breaking down fuel molecules and capturing energy in cellular photosynthesis. Photosynthesis used oxygen and sunlight to produce sugars, essential for the start of life. Life took hold in the ocean at first, then moved from the ocean to land around 600 million years ago. Plants and animals became abundant during the Cambrian explosion some 540 million years ago. Three eras have been identified in geologic history. The era of the mammals from 540 to 250 million years ago. The era of the reptiles and birds, including the dinosaurs, from 250 to 65 million years ago. And the era of the mammal over the last 65 million years. Earth has known many glaciation periods. The first snowball Earth took place some 2.3 billion years ago. Global warming and cooling events are related to the Sun's natural cycle, Earth's astronomical cycles, to volcanic activity on Earth. Volcanic eruptions release carbon dioxide, which tends to warm the atmosphere and oceans, while weather events such as extensive precipitation remove carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. Rain carries dissolved carbon dioxide that reacts with rocks in the weathering process. The products make their way to the ocean bottom where they get sequestrated for a long time as sedimentary rocks. Another ma major glaciation, glaciation took place before the Cambrian explosion. Such global cooling and warming trends affect the evolution of species, including their extinctions. The last glaciation ended some 14,000 years ago. Such major changes in climate 
cause major extinctions. Five major extinctions have been identified in geologic history. We're living through a major global warming period produced by the burning of fossil fuels, which is causing the sixth major extinction of plant and animal species. A well-known major extinction happened some 65 million years ago, when most of the dinosaurs died out. Died out. Dinosaurs shared Earth with birds and reptiles. reptiles. Birds and reptiles survived this extinction while most dinosaurs died out. Dinosaurs included giant animals. The only mammals alive during the dinosaurs era were small and dispersed. A meteorite hit the edge of the Yucatan Peninsula. This produced wildfires and a giant dust cloud that lasted for years. Vegetation died out, which led to a major extinction. The death of the dinosaurs created an opportunity for mammals to grow and prosper. Birds and reptiles survived to the present day. Mammals evolved and prospered. They included the apes from which humans descended. A debated question as to why mammals prospered while reptiles did not. This is related to the large number of harmful fungi. Fungi found in their bodies. Fungi are lethal at temperatures higher than 37 degrees C, while they die out, die out at lower temperatures. As it happens, the metabolic temperature of reptiles is 30 degrees C, while that of mammals is 37 degrees C. This might have given mammals an advantage surviving the fungi threat. Earth's top layer is the crust which is formed of rigid plates that slide past each other, crash into each other, and subduct one underneath the other. This produces the drift of continents to the present location. Continents used to be part of the original supercontinent named Gondwana, which started breaking up some 200 million years ago. Continental drift produced the five continents that we know now. Homo sapiens evolved from the apes in East Africa some 200,000 years ago. They spread out to the Middle East, then to Asia along the coast. Humans developed a capacity for language about 50,000 years ago. They crossed the Bering Sea some 14,000 years ago to populate the Americas during the last Ice Age when this one was frozen over. 